Hey guys, we're a family of eight and we're gonna go gold mining for a year's supply of potatoes for our family. Let's go! Okay, we're down here just about to harvest the potatoes. This area is about a seven meter by seven meter area. And um, yeah, basically me and Evelyn, we're gonna do some forking. We're gonna fork out, take out the plants, and then all the kids are gonna come behind us and um, put them all in these buckets over there. And then we're gonna see how much we can put in the tractor. Yes, yeah, so around 200 kgs is our goal. That'll be about four kgs a week. Um, and yeah, hopefully that'll last us a year. If it's any more, that's good. We are hopefully going to turn this patch in um, next month into a potato patch again. So, crossing our fingers, that happens. Check out the gold. And there's another one. Oh no. Oh, oh I this so much. Oh, wait, there's so much here. What's in there? that? The reason we're harvesting today is not because uh, the plant is dead because some of it is um, still a little bit alive. You'd normally wait till it's brown and sort of died. But um, we're actually getting rats and possums um, digging up the potatoes and eating them. So yeah, we've caught two possums so far and um, the rats, Enzo's kind of let them escape, got too excited. Um, yeah, so now by avoiding that, we are going to harvest all the potatoes. But they have found the apple tree, so we are going to have to do something for that. No, put it in my bucket. Bye. Bye. Yeah, sure. Oh, Brady, pick a chocolate. Bye, now we have tons of potatoes. Oh, my goodness. Move the bucket. Uh, no, put it in the bucket. We'll sort them out later. Hey. You forked one. Oh, fucking cool, Theo. Yeah, I know. Every time I come home, he's like, hey, bro. He's like, hello, bro. And my, like, hey, bro. Theo, what do you guys got there? Um, How big are they going to be? Um, big. Big. That's a big potato. That's almost as big as your face. Yeah. Four 
buckets so far. Okay, we are almost finished um, two beds. Um, I've put four buckets in the wheelbarrow and we've got a little bit there and some buckets full there. And Jasper over here is helping me pull out the um, weeds in front of it so I can pour and then I can pick some. So yeah, it's going good. Okay, this here is about three beds worth, seven metre long beds, um, and we're averaging about almost three buckets um, per bed, so it's not too bad. Still got a few more beds to go, so yeah, it's going to be pretty full. Hopefully these tyres down here can handle it. Okay, we're almost to the last bit on that side. Of course, we've got three more beds to do behind me here. Um, so I just wanted to give you an update on how the corn went. Um, when we've done the corn with the potatoes, um, as you see in the video, uh, it's about six months ago. Um, I'll, I'll put it up here somewhere. But uh, when we planted these, we planted corn in between them as an experiment, both heavy feeders. So um, I didn't think it was going to work that great, but. Um, it actually, we got a few corn out of it, let's just say that. They weren't big, they didn't pollinate that well, and uh, let's just say the rats and possums decided to go for the potatoes instead of the corn. So, yeah. That's um, how bad the corn was, that they preferred the potatoes over the corn. In our harvest video, on uh, the video, two videos before this, um, we actually harvested pretty much the rest of the corn. So that was pretty much our harvest from the whole uh, potato patch. Well, half of it we planted, but yeah, bit of a fail. But um, experiments are fun and still got heaps of potatoes. So definitely didn't hinder the potatoes, just the corn. Okay, so this bed down here, one of the longer beds, we've got one, two, and three quarters buckets of, um, of potatoes. So, yeah, that's pretty much what we get in each row. We're doing the last bed on this side, and then we're going to get to the ones behind us if we have time. Okay, we're officially now on these last three beds. They're a bit smaller, so we won't get as many, but um, we are almost finished because we're we're getting definitely buggered. One the other. What did you just play with the kids? Okay. 
So we have done for the day. Um, we have four buckets and a half a tray there um, to put in the tractor. Although I don't think it's going to fit. We'll give it a go. Um, but we've got one row here that we're just sort of half done. And then we've got another row here and then another little tiny row there that we're going to do tomorrow afternoon. So yeah, we are not finished yet. And then we'll, tomorrow afternoon we're going to weigh them and we're going to show you how we store them. Okay, I don't think we're going to fit any more buckets in here. Um, last time we harvested potatoes, I'm pretty sure it was even less than this. And we've got four buckets down here. Still a bit and a half to do. Um, and I've tied some string on this to stop it from doing it. So we're going to try to get these up the top. Okay, we made it up. Luckily, I've got traction control on that tractor because it was going to slide, but it done very well. So, yeah. Um, we've got to put these all in crates and basically we've got to empty it so we can go get the other half Not quite half, but um Definitely another trailer load um, Yeah, but for now we're gonna we're finished for the day. So um, We'll see you guys tomorrow. So it's the next day and um, We've got to empty this so we can get back down there grab the rest of the potatoes But um, we've got some scales here. So this is it pretty much only goes up to 5 kg So we have to do it one little bowl at a time um, so we're going to put them in these trays I think they should fit about 20 kgs they might fit a little bit more but um yeah we're just going to keep weighing them putting them in and see how much we get a total of this one <laughs> So we've got 25 kg so far. Debs is putting all the good ones in there, and all the ones with any like scarring or possum bites, um, I'm putting it in this bucket down here. And we're still going to eat them, but they'll just get eaten first. They're no good for the long storage. Okay, we've got two crates done now that's 50 kgs um, and it's just enough to be able to put them on top of each other so now what we're going to do is we're sick of putting them on the scales so we're going to fill this one up to the point these ones are and we know now that's 25 kgs so that's how we're going to measure them we have scaled them all up we have um, this yellow one here is our bads and our bads under there in a um, green tray and um, yeah we've got about six of these black trays at the moment so all up we've got 180 kgs but now i've got to go down and harvest the rest of them and hopefully it doesn't rain on me okay that's all the potatoes for today um, well actually I've done the whole patch now and um, there's a few areas I think the kids planted last that didn't really uh, do anything maybe they didn't plant stuff in that half a row but uh, yeah I'm gonna go up weigh this and then uh, see how much we've got total so we've processed all of the bad ones from the good ones gave them a little bit of a scrub um, so before I tell you how much there is in here um, I'm gonna go and show you where I put these for storage So down here, that's the first little potatoes. These are the bad ones, so they're the ones we're going to use first. Um, there's 50 kgs of those ones. This is kind of like our, um, I don't know if you call it like a root cellar, but uh, it's where we store stuff. Like we've got um, lard, we've got like uh, carrots, um, I know plums and peaches and honey and jams and some pickles and stuff like that. That's where we store all this stuff. Um, and I'm making some lactic acid bacteria that'd be cool but yeah that's where we store our 50 kgs of potatoes and we'll use that um, first before we use the other stuff that I'm going to store right now
so it's a bit dark in here but this is our shed um, yeah it's a bit of a pigsty so I won't show you around too much um, but basically I harvested potatoes instead of clean the shed well that's what I tell myself um, so over here there is 235 kgs of potato I was able to put 30 kgs in these big uh, yellow um, fish bins basically because I didn't have any other containers but yeah we've done this last year yeah last last year we got 200 kgs stored them in here and we just slowly went through them we had a couple of chickens walk in the shed and pick them but um, it was nothing like you know you just cut those little bits out it wasn't really too bad so all up with the 50 kgs of seconds up in our walk-in uh, pantry root cellar whatever you want to call it and 235 in the shed that's 285 kgs of potatoes so we estimated around 200 would need for a year so 285 just means we can eat a bit more potatoes I guess and um, the other thing is probably 25 kgs we want for seed potatoes for next year so I just try to save one of those crates and then we should be sweet for um, next year but I do have plans I'm going to try to do two crops of potato in one year in the same spot so keep watching the space to see what's going to go on there and I also want to add there was no compost added to those um, potatoes plus we tried planting corn in there and the only thing we done in there was we planted cover crop before that um, so from 200 kgs last year for the only difference being cover crop in that area we got another 85 kgs so I guess cover crops really does work but um, I haven't got time for that we're gonna plant that up very soon so yeah tell me in the comments how much potatoes you go through a year or how much you harvest out of your garden um, or how much you actually need because this is a family of eight needing 200 kgs and uh, I think that's maybe rationing a little bit so luckily we got more um, but for now I'm gonna leave you guys there make sure to subscribe hit the like button and I'll see you guys in the next episode look out